Welcome to our daily dose on our 50 day journey to spiritual fitness, physical fitness, and financial fitness. I trust that you are enjoying these devotions and that you're also getting into the physical fitness piece and that you're getting some good advice financially during this time when we're on lockdown and we're behind closed doors, we're doing our best to plan ahead and make sure that uh, we're using this time to benefit us. And we want to especially uh, make sure that you are developing your walk and your devotional life with Almighty God. That's why we're doing these quick devotions. They are not Bible studies by any means. They're just an inspirational thought to get you thinking about the Word of God and get you to in, into reading it and studying it. Today we're in the Old Testament, one-year Bible reading, 1 Samuel chapter 3. Now let me set the stage quickly. Hannah was barren and prayed to God that God would give her a son. God answered her prayer and gave her the first prophet of Israel. His name was Samuel. And she said, Lord, if you give me a son, I will give him back to you. She did that. She took him to the house of the Lord where Eli was the high priest in those days. And Samuel lived at the house of the Lord. Now, uh, one night, uh, the Lord comes to Samuel and he calls out his name over and over and over again. And, and Samuel thinks that it's Eli. So he runs to Eli and he says, yes. What do you want? And Eli says, go back to bed. So that's the setting here. And we're going to see where God calls out to Samuel again in the middle of the night. In verse number uh, six, it says, and the Lord called again, Samuel. And Samuel arose and went uh, to Eli. And he said, here I am for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. The verse seven, very important. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. Here's why I wanna highlight this verse to you because Samuel was working for God. He was in the house of the Lord. Eli, the high priest had given him duties that he was performing at the house of God. So Samuel was working for the Lord, but he didn't know the Lord. Did you know that you can be a musician on the praise and worship team, an usher, a teacher? You can be a preacher and work for God, but not know God. So to be in an intimate relationship is really, really vital and at the core of what our relationship should be about close and in intimacy with God. So today's a great day to evaluate your relationship with the Lord. Do you know him or are you just working for him? Father, I just pray that you would help us to walk in intimacy with you, to know you more than work for you. God, keep us, I pray, in your presence and in your hands. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. God bless you.